Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. My name is Michelle Edhouse and today I'm playing with paint. Um, <laughs> it's what I do. I play with paint. Uh, those of you that are looking for someone who doesn't talk, turn the sound off. You want quick speed, turn the speed up. Um, other than that, sit back, relax, let's have some fun together. Um, my basics is acrylic pouring and this one today uh, it's been inspired by you know how sometimes you're just flicking through Instagram or YouTube or something and something just pops in your awareness and you're like oh that's pretty and you keep going that's what happened here so my apologize to whoever's idea this was Thank you, I adore you, and I have no idea who you were because it just sort of scrolled past and it sort of sat in my recall. So I'm just flicking some white around just as a base coat, just as um, something for my paint to skid across. I don't want a perfect... Um, perfect finish necessarily with this just looking for something to create a different reality with um, yep. so here's the deal what we're going to do is we're going to stick um, this. This is the top of a plastic cup, which has now been in paint. Um, just cut off, you know, the, 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 the rim that they have to make it drinkable. And I'm going to sit that down, uh, first of all, before I do that. Because I don't want white on the bottom. Rub that off on my t-shirt. Before I do that, I'm going to pour on some Payne's Grey. Now, the one I'm recalling was using browns. Brown and I'm not sure what the other colour was. I'm just going to bring this paint around it, not touching it with the brush because I don't want to spread the paint's grey around, but I do want to have no dry patches. There we go. That is so exactly what I didn't want to do. All right. So it happens when you get a bit playish. <laughs> Sometimes you stop being aware. All right. We are prepared. So we've got paint in there. The next thing I'm going to do is start pouring in some bronze. I'm just going to pour it straight into the centre there. Quite a bit of bronze. We've got a big canvas. Then we're going to go in with that red. This is an orange red. It's not my standard crimson red. But before we do that, we are going to add some silicon. And this is just some Montmartre silicon oil. A couple of drops into, this is about two ounces, two fluid ounces or 60 mils of paint. And all my paints are pre-mixed with Floetrol and water. And the white has some added PVA because the white is actually house paint. And 
not planning on allowing it to do its thing. So what the target is here is just to keep pouring and allow it hopefully and it's not <laughs> to seep out there it goes can you see that just pushing down on that back bit and tilting it up a bit so it's running out underneath and it's so not doing what they did <laughs> so what am I trying to achieve here well what happened with theirs was their ring sat up on top and as the paint flowed out created what looked like a, um, a geode and that was my target um, so what I'm going to pour into the middle here is some um, this is iridescent medium and it's been mixed up as if it was a paint and then I'm going to pour in some more white Now, the only colour that has paint uh, silicon in this is the red. Okay. I'm liking this, this is good, it's not doing what I had imagined. Just wanted it to float. not actually letting any paint out behind it What I'm after with allowing it to float out I'm just going to do that instead What I was after with it allowing to float out is to pull the colour, the outer colour, over the top. So the colours spread out underneath it 
and um yeah no it didn't work <laughs> oh well. always fun trying right So next step is to spread it, see what we get. I kind of don't want to lose the Payne's Grey. Also don't really want to lose the circular cells. And to avoid losing the circular, you need to pull out and come back in the same direction. Sorry if you've had bad view. My apologies. And she's gone too far. Boom. Alright, it's savable. Let's see what we get. Definitely seeing some iridescence through this area here. And the bronze is kind of giving the red iridescence on the outside. get rid of this outer white. And the only way to do that oops, is not let that bit drop in is to come in with some more Payne's Grey inside that line and use that to tilt that white off. the same thing over on oh I just realized I forgot to zoom you out you can't see what I've been doing I am sorry this is a bit of a mess of a video but you need to stay inside the dark so that you don't capture any of the white. Look how I've lost all my roundness. Uh, 
this isn't fun. I don't like it. It's not. It's not working. I really like this bit. I really don't like this bit. I should have scraped that onto some cardboard, but hey. wipe with a tissue just to get the white off the bottom of that reminds me of a um, song and we're going to do another one this one's not going to have white in the middle. It will have iridescent, maybe. There's a big lump. I'm gonna pull it all the way down so it runs off this side. just to widen those cells back out again now bearing in mind that's iridescent medium not white so that's not going to dry pink
There is something happening that I'm liking. Totally not what I had intended originally. So I've just poured some bronze into the leftover on the in the red, and I'm just gonna. Bring that in in a stream down here. Lots of silicon in that, and then just pull that that way. Then I'm going to turn it around. It's kind of almost like three layers of a landscape. Do I like it? No. Is it currently a huge waste of paint? In my opinion, yes. Do I like that red and black? And yes. Is there so much paint on this ground? Yes. Am I going to waste the paint? No. Am I better annoyed with myself so far? Yes. Can I save it? Let's see. I'm liking what I'm seeing in that middle piece. I'm not excited about this pink color.
right let's tilt Where's my tin gone? <laughs> I don't think I caught much. Some of you who are new are wondering why I'm adding this other paint. Because the pretty bit will roll on top of itself if I don't. And I don't want to lose the pretty bit. I quite like this. Part of me knows that there's not enough paint on here. And this black corner is the corner I want to get rid of the most, so I'm going to go there next. Keep adding more paint. Adding more paint. Yep. And gather all that paint that just dripped off. paint Is it going to make it? I really like this. I am so going to make this into some material. If you've not come across my spoon flower video, please hit the have a look in the description below on how to make material with photos of your own. I've got some lumps in there and I've got large amounts of paint on my hands which I need to get off hold on No, 
if you are going to run paint down a sink like I just did please 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 make sure you run enough water through to make sure it goes all the way through and doesn't start building up clogging the arteries as such um, turn that heater off I really like this it's Want to pop any air bubbles? Bring up a few little cells here and there, but nothing huge. And then we're going to pick out our lumps like that one and that one. And where is it? I saw another one. Maybe it was an air bubble that popped. No, there it is. Okay, I really like this um, and I don't think the colour is quite coming out through very well. Let me get you down and see if I can get a better angle for you and show you some of the yummy bits. Oh, there you go. That's a better angle. Check out that colour. So it, in here, the Payne's Grey is showing its blue tinges, so that's what Payne's Grey is. This is all bronze in here. There's no bright red. This is as close to red as we're going to get. Look at it, it looks like the layers of the earth. We've got it's just so pretty it's you know the cells have done really weird things sorry about the lighting it's getting dark here which is why we're getting so many reflections I don't have the outside light balancing it it's nearly time for me to go in and cook dinner for my guests but look how blue that looks oh that's so yummy I am so making something out of this autumn coat or something. Not that we need coats in autumn in New Zealand, but love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. I'm going to let it dry and then show you the dry result in three, two, one. And here it is, all finished and dry and looking very shiny in places and not so shiny in other places. <laughs> uh, and we have a blue sky for the first time in a week. We've had lots of rain, much to Glenn's disgust. It's hard to pour concrete in the rain. So, I still really love this piece and um, I'm gonna be creating some funky stuff with it I might even put a few ideas and options in here for you and um, see what you guys think which one should I make a dress out of Uh, 
I do notice that I did miss a corner just down there oh, and for those of you that are asking what sort of plant is this this is a hebe I usually get at least one question on that when I am filming out here and I'm really sorry for the lack of videos lately I am super super busy building websites for clients and all sorts of other stuff so uh, I am thinking of you lots and I'm missing my painting and I will be out here as often as I can uh, and at this point um, work takes priority sorry <laughs> I adore you guys I hope you're having an amazing time um, looking after yourselves being healthy and um, just being kind to you most importantly and kind to others it's a time at the moment where kindness is one of the gifts that you can be in the world that will create the change that we're all desiring all right guys i adore you i look forward to talking to you really soon and i am gonna try and squeeze in a live this week so uh, i will let you know as soon as i do when that will be all right i adore you have fun and thanks for joining me on this playtime. Cheers. Bye.